It's always fun to look around and see fans singing our stars spangled banner. Getting in the spirit. That'd be a good one tonight. Don't go away. Welcome, sports fans. Thanks for joining us. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. Chris Weber's joining us at the broadcast table alongside Greg Anthony and David Aldridge on the sideline. This is Kevin Harlan. Hey, Dave. Hey, Kevin. The Mavericks had far and away the league's most efficient offense last season. Their star, Luka Doncic, is rightfully credited for most of that, but their role players were also shooting the ball well. Now, the 2004 Mavs with Dirk Nowitzki and Steve Nash were arguably the greatest offense ever, but this group could give them a run for their money. Kevin? It might indeed, David. Well said. Thank you for that report. So let's take a look at the Charlotte starting lineup. Bismack Biambo is out there with P.J. Washington. Then there's Miles Bridges. Then there's Devontae Graham. And it's Rozier in at the one. And for Dallas... Inside of the four and the five, Porzingis and Powell. Seth Curry is out there with Doncic, and it's Hardaway in at the three. Well, this seems to be a game that could be very tactical, Greg. Both teams relying on execution in the half court. And, Kevin, you're going to see a lot of ball movement and body movement, and you can't just stand around and watch one guy go to work. I think that puts so much pressure on the defense with how the game is played. And an emphasis on coaching, too. Yes. Now, here's Rogier. Passes to Graham from past the arc. Rebounded by Hardaway. Let's just see the great deep there. Keep giving him that shot. Bad things will happen. Here's the three. Up again. And always better to be lucky than good when it comes to offensive rebound. And unless you're as good as he is, then those tip ins are all about skill. Pass to Bridges. Bring him against Kerr. Here's Bridges. He's covered closely. It's rebounded by Porzingis. And it's Porzingis with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Mavericks. And one of the things that stands out when you see Bridges, that explosive leaping ability. But yeah, he gets off the ground quickly and makes adjustments in midair. There's a smoothness to his athleticism. He's still putting it all together, but there's a lot to work with. And it's the Hornets with the ball, following the score by Dallas. Back to Rozier. Kicks to Bridges. Pass to Graham. Beyond the arc. Connects from three-point range. Oh, great ball movement from Bridges there. I mean, the self-awareness, uh, the selfless attitude leading to the wide-open shot. Andrich outside. Back to Curry. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. And, and once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Yeah, very little resistance. I mean, you had to bring much faster help than that. Now is shooting their first free throw of the game right now. And their numbers from the line last season, they're good, just not great. About 77% as a team. And so just over a minute and a half played. Tight team, tight team. Now Rogier. Shoots from 14. They get it back. Yeah, and that's a pure hustle play, getting to the offensive glass for the tip. -in. And that's the kind of quality you see in any strong offensive rebounder, isn't it? Now, here's Doncic. The shot's good. And already in his career, Doncic displays a remarkable amount of pro moves, including that floater right there. Here's Rozier, and there's the pass to Graham. 
144 left to play in the first. Bridges passes to Graham. Just five to shoot. High post shot. It's rebounded by Doncic. It isn't the D that causes that miss. That's just a, a loss of concentration. Curry kicks to Hardaway. Doncic outside. Three pointer. No good there. And the Hornets now going the other way. Here's Graham. Passes it to Washington. It's rebounded by Porzingis. Not the most productive quarter he'll ever have, but his shot selection's been a little bit... Oh, they've tailored their offense around him. And let me tell you, he loves playing in this system. Hornets trail by six. And now the first timeout called here for the Hornets. Trying to find some answers offensively. Some bad shot selection as well as some bad luck. I mean, that's not going to help you score points. on the floor for the Mavericks. Well, Hornets also changing it up. Cody Zeller's checked in for Biombo. Dwayne Bacon comes in for Bridges. And it's Batum for Terry Rozier. Now, here's Washington. He kicks to Graham. Pass to Bacon. And here is Cauley Stein. Penny Smith. Yeah, I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Pass to Washington. The pass to Zeller. On the wing, but two. And the layup's good off the glass. That's just years of experience coming into play. But Toon's aggressiveness and basketball savvy, I mean, it puts defenders in difficult spots. With the shot. And so it's Dallas. With a six-point lead at the end of the quarter, they're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. We've got more in store for you right after this. Just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And guys, what's your take so far on the maps? Well, in that first quarter, they, they were intent on just pounding the ball down low. Old school approach. I mean, if you have a favorable matchup inside, just keep pounding it in there. Dallas leading by six. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade as the second quarter gets going. On the floor for Charlotte, Washington and Zeller are in the middle. Monte Graham is out there with Batum, and it's Bacon in at the small forward. Bacon the pass to Graham. Kicks it to Batum. Back to Graham. Down to five on the shot clock. Releases. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. The rotation in the D could be better here. It, it'll cost them next time it's just not. Good. Moving it around. Eight of their last ten coming off assists. And so Graham will bring it up for the Hornets. It's a ten-point game. 
Zeller dishes to Batum. Oats one up, and the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Batum. J.J. Murray has checked in for Jalen Brunson. Miles Bridges, he's checked in for Charlotte. Terry Rozier comes in for Devontae Graham. Mavericks leading by 10. Here in the second quarter with a little over a minute gone. Pulls up. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Uh, golden opportunity that he can't make good on. Maybe a wake-up call to the D, though. They can't leave him alone like that. Now, here's Rogier. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Over Kleba. It's deflected, but he gets it back. Bridges finds Batum. Just three to shoot. There's the three. Kleba with the rebound. Mavericks have gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Benny Smith passes to right. For a player who's almost a sure thing to score in tight, that was a stunner. Pass to Rozier. And here in the second, two minutes gone by. A floater. That shot, no good. And the Mavericks going the other way now. And talk about playing small. Last year, Charlotte had Rozier and Devontae Graham on the floor together for much of the time. Both players right around 6-1. But you know what? They held their own. Here's Rozier. The Mavericks making the shot. Inside. Here's Batum. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Batum's got his second basket of the night. Oh, what balance from the veteran. Even when Batum gets hit, he's skilled at staying in control. And, of course, Rozier played a fair amount of off guard before he came to Charlotte. And, and Kevin, back in Boston, he learned how to move without the ball, where to spot up. And those may have been hard lessons early on, but the development paid off. Rozier has become a much more versatile talent. And Dallas calls their first time out of the game. And, and team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. Yeah, and, and sometimes it's the most subtle moves that make the biggest difference. Was checked in for Nicholas Batum. We've got 123 left here in the second. Hardaway kicks to Doncic. Pass to Powell. Back to Doncic. Four on the shot clock. Here's Bacon. No points in the game yet for him. Pass to Rogier. Here's Bacon. Here's Bridges. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Uh, when a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to blow the whistle. Yeah, you can't blame the ref for making that call at all. The defense in general is already at such a disadvantage as it is. Some changes for Charlotte. P.J. Washington, he's checked in for Zeller. And Devontae Graham subbed in for Bacon. Doncic passes to Hardaway. Doncic dishes to Powell. Good! And the assist goes to Doncic. Powell's got the lead up to 12 now for Dallas. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. To the inside. It's blocked. Bring him against Kurt. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. That's a foul on Charlotte. He made the only free throw attempt he had earlier in the game. 
and going back to his performance at the line last year, guys, 84% as a free throw shooter. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. And both free throws good for Curry. Oh, he's never rattled at the strike. Always has that nice soft touch on his free throws. Rozier against Doncic. Rozier with the ball. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. This one for three. No good that time. And we finished one half of basketball. Mavericks lead by 14. We're going to step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after our halftime. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is right here. Say hey to the folks, Kenny. Hey, folks. Say hey to the yeah, folks, Shaq. Hey, folks. folks. Hey, let's get this party started. Okay. And the Mavericks over the past couple of years, Shaq making some great personnel moves. Look, they traded up to get Doncic. They traded Dennis Smith Jr. Uh, in a package deal, and they got the great Porzingis. Yeah, I mean, exciting young crew. They're adding pieces around him and Doncic and around the franchise. And they, they, they're prime. And that should do it. With the second half about to begin, let's send you back to Kevin Harlan. Go back to Kevin Harlan. Go. Go over there. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. We've seen Dwight Powell really having a great game. And he was an absolute monster on the offensive glass in that first half. I don't know how you slow him down. Yeah, you must try to match his energy level first and foremost. But right now, he's just out hustling guys to the ball. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Hardaway and Porzingis in at the forward slot. Curry is out there with Doncic, and it's Powell in at the center filling out the middle. That's the lineup in the game for Dallas. And it's Graham missing. It's just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Man, when the ball's in his hands, that's as high percentage as it gets. It's just a fluke. This. And see, well, really, because of that raw athleticism, Rozier was a mid-first-round pick back in 2015. And you can see, though, that skill set is evolving. Well, that's why Charlotte gave him a three-year, $58 million contract. I mean, the feeling is he's still reaching his full potential. We saw signs of growth last year. So it's the Mavericks now. After the basket by Charlotte, Curry gets the bucket. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. Oh, yeah, and that's what you love about him. He shows no mercy, even with a comfortable lead. Ogier, the pass to Bridges. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. And just a little too lax with that possession. And it cost them. Yeah, you got to be locked in at all times. Their inconsistent play is a big reason why they're losing. Looking at who's out there now for the Mavericks. Maxi Kleba, he's checked in for Dwight Powell. And it's right in for Curry. Zeller, he's checked in for the Hornets. Batum comes in for Bridges. Dallas leading by 14. Now here's Wright. The baseline J. Almost, but it rolls out. It's still early, but a one for four start to the half, that's a bad sign, if you ask me. They've got a can't-miss play. Now's the time to break the glass and pull it out. 
That should give them a nice little jolt. Ah, uh, yeah, it has to. They need a jolt, GA. Hey, guys, you think he was sending a message on that one? He doesn't like losing. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, thank you. There will be a subtle but significant change on the court this season. Wilson is now the official basketball supplier for the NBA and its affiliated league. In fact, they were the association's original supplier starting in 1946. Now, after a nearly four-decade hiatus, Wilson reclaims that position. Guys, back to you. We appreciate that, David. Thank you. Here's Rogier. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Charlotte timeout, calls timeout. timeout. Trying to find some answers offensively. Bad shot selection as well as some bad luck. I mean, that's not going to help you score points. Changes here for the Mavericks. Billy Cauley Stein, he's checked in for Pazingas. Dorian Vinny Smith comes in for Hardaway. And it's Jalen Brunson in for Doncic. The Hornets also with a sub. Bacon, he's checked in for Rozier. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. And Batum kicks to Graham. Shot clock at six. Back to Batum. Out of bounds, it'll be Maverick's ball. No clue <laughs> where that pass was going. That is a brutal turnover. And the Mavericks making a change here. Murray has checked in. Mavericks leading by 14. He dishes it to Cauley Stein. Here's Finney Smith to the middle uses the glass to finish the layup. And they've had assists now on their last three baskets. The Hornets have gone two of five, shooting here in the third quarter. Graham surveying the floor. He kicks it to beyond. Charlotte moving the ball around. Five on the clock, poked away. 44 seconds left in the third quarter. Here's Berea. Zeller grabs the board. Hornets trail by 16. Here's Bacon. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. The pass to Batum. The three. Can't hit that one. Here's Finney Smith. Passes it to Brunson. Now Berea. From deep. Misses. And that's just exceptional timing from Batum. Really getting in that jersey of the shooter. And so it's Dallas. In command with a 16-point lead as the buzzer sounds. Defensively, they have gotten after it, contesting every shot going up. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And let's take this chance now to show you the State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and what a beautiful feat. I mean, well, if you're the coaching staff, I mean, you're pumped up. This highlight will not only make it on the TV, it'll make it into the film session tomorrow.
And there have been two very different performances from these teams today. As we get going in quarter number four. And Charlotte looking at who they've got. Washington and Zeller are in the middle. Dante Graham is out there with Bacon. And it's Bridges in at the three slot. Here's Bacon. Dishes it to Graham. Shoots over Berea. The offensive rebound. They blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance for another one at the strike. Okay. Putting that seven-foot frame to good use. I mean, Zeller pounding the glass. Ugodoncic, he's checked in for Dallas. The Hornets also with a sub. Rogier's checked in. What's up? And that one falls for Zeller. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for the Dallas Mavericks. At one point, they led by 16. Doncic against Rogier. Doncic with the bucket. And the Mavericks lead by 15. Guys, you never know what you'll see when you're watching Luka Doncic. His offensive creativity is through the roof. Rozier against Doncic. The putback, it's good on the putback. And those second chance points really become almost like bonus points when you can get them. Outside Hardaway. There's the triple. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Rozier's got four rebounds now tonight. Pass to Bacon. From outside, off the mark. Mavericks leading by 13. Near the three-point line, it's Doncic. Good, and the assist goes to Hardaway. Doncic has got four points now in the quarter. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Now, here's Rogier. Shot from 16. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Howell's got his fifth rebound in this one. Doncic feeling it out. Tipped away. Here's Hardaway. And he lays it straight in. Late in the game, up big, they continue to attack. And it's not about running up the score. It's about closing the door on any kind of comeback. Charlotte calls timeout. They trail by 17. 151 left in the fourth quarter. Let's present our New Balance Player of the Game, Luka Doncic. And his shooting percentage reflects just how efficient he's been. It's better than 50%, always a sign of a solid offensive performance. But his movement and his shot selection have also both been tremendous. What a connection he has to these fans. They love him here. And the more he has games like this, the deeper that connection gets. One fifty-one left in the fourth. Bridges finds Rogier to the paint. Graham with the bucket. Yeah, Rogier has great vision on the floor and sees his teammate in the ideal situation. Mavericks leading by fifteen. And here is Doncic. Yep, it counts. A nice shot taking what the defenders gave him. But these guys need a gut check right now. 
know what they were thinking. Have to know the scouting report. He's a threat from out there. And this is going to end in a lopsided victory. I, I love the tenacity and aggressiveness, as well as the ability to close. You really got to give it up here for the Mavericks. You know, it's tough to put your finger on the deciding factor in this one, but I'd say that the shooting accuracy made the difference. Yeah, I think you're on point, Kevin. They got better looks, and that tends to lead to a better field goal percentage. And we watched one guy all night long, guys, and, and look at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Luka Doncic. Just an outpouring of points from him. Nobody could do much to keep him from dropping it in. Graham, the pass to Rozier. Shot clock at five. Come on, baby, let's go. From about 19 feet, the Mavericks pull it in. 36 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Doncic against Graham. And that one's good. Doncic. And the Mavericks lead by 21. Saw the opportunity to put this away and did not turn it down. That's the dagger. You could tell they wanted that one. I know that's it. Now, here's Rogier. Nice D from Doncic. Outside Curry. So we see the Mavericks taking the win here. It was a tale of two teams tonight. One that was in total control, operating flawlessly, and the other just searching for answers that they could never find. I mean, the energy here is just so tremendous. Fans involved from the get-go, and once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see that rhythm and flow from their perspective. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Luca, you played well and you got the win. So what made the difference? Yeah, I think we had a uh, had a great game. You know, we had a. I think it was a great game today. You know, we step up uh, together, play good defense, and it was a great win. Thanks for your time, man. Appreciate it, Kevin. Back to you. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. And that'll do it, folks. For Chris Weber, Greg Anthony, and David Alt, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.